All right. Hi, my name is Jason and I'm going to be reviewing this excursion dive watch from Core Essentials today. Now, this is my unboxing portion here. I've had the opportunity to review a lot of belts and watches and sunglasses and wallets from Core Essentials and everything so far that I've had the chance to review, I've been really, really impressed with. So this is my first impression. This is the first time I'm pulling this out of the box. Kind of a cool way to ship and display the box. Comes in this plastic, but, but durable little uh, ammo box. And so the watch itself is right here. And one thing that I'm excited about is I love Core's track belts, how you get you know, almost an infinite number of different sizes that you can size the belt to. And I think it's really cool that they've done that now with a watch. There we go. So you can see the little track right there. It's going to slide in right here. And on this one, you lift up on this little tab there in order to release it. Or it looks like you're going to have to push on that a little bit to get it to slide in. And then you can hear that ratchet into place. Pull that up to release it. So there's two different watch brands. This is the first one. Uh, let me tell you a couple of things, though, uh, just as far about as the, the look of the watch, the feel of the watch. Um, it's a really nice design. We've got the one rotating ring there. Um, just one knob here at the side. You can see the little core design on the edge of it, which is cool. The core design there. Um, we've got a little slot here for the date. Um, this is rated to 200 meters depth or 660 feet. The metal on the sides is a really nice, sleek metal. Here's the bottom part here. Really nice look and feel and heft to it. So there's a little tab right here, a little metal uh, slider that will release that. So we can put the other watch band on there. And then it has two, at least on this watch band, two different bands for that to slide into. Okay, let's take a look at the other watch band here. So just a little bit of a different design here instead of the kind of bumpy textured feel on this watch band, this one is mostly smooth, couple bands there for some detail and design. This one also has the two different um, I don't know what those little rubber things are called that are going to slide over the, the excess band there. Um, but that's nice to have two different bands, two different designs that you can go with. So having this on, it, it's definitely a heavy watch, which is not a bad thing. It, I like the heft of it. It feels, it feels good. Um, but it's not a light watch. You can tell it's a really good, strong, durable material that it's made out of. Really nice look to it. And then we're going to release right there. I'm trying to slide these out first, honestly. I do want to take that watch off. There we go. Just going to slide up on that. It slides right off. In order to adjust the time, you first need to twist to release this seal and you'll feel it kind of pop up once it releases that's there to make this waterproof to such an impressive depth then you can pull up on it and it will change the time if you uh, is it in a little bit i think date is pushed in just a little bit more and you can see it eh, if it'll focus it's starting to change that date yeah it's changing there 
Anyway, that's the trick that took me a minute to find out. And then to reseal it while you're applying downward pressure, you're going to turn that until it's quite tight so that we're not getting water into the watch there. All right, so here are my final thoughts on this watch from Core. I think it is a really nice timepiece. Um, it has just a really, really nice look to it. It's made out of really good materials. I'm going to tell you, for me personally, a, a couple things that have been not negatives, but maybe hiccups. And so I have almost like a carpal tunnel spectrum type of wrist soreness and pain. And just the weight of this watch, actually after a couple days, started to make my wrists a little bit sore. It is, it is a rather heavy material, very durable, very good material, but kind of a heavy material that it's made out of. Um, the other thing that I think is a unique thing to think about is that in our world today, a lot of people are using buying smart watches. This is not a smart watch. This is a timepiece is why I call it that. It's beautiful. Um, but if you're wanting something that you can read your messages or that you can, you know, connect with your phone via Bluetooth, obviously this doesn't do any of that. The other thing that I think is just so cool and I love core for this and other companies that are doing these ratchet designs but it's so cool that you can adjust that to whatever exact size that you want it which is really neat um so overall really positive experience um, again for me personally because of some of my problems with my wrists i probably am not going to be wearing it full time i do think it's a really well built and quality watch I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, I hope that you'll consider subscribing for more videos and liking this video to help others find it. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. I do read them and respond to them. I'd be happy to share my experience with you and help any way that I can. Thanks for watching.